Hey guys, Jacqueline here. Welcome back to Grown Ass Stuttering. Grown Ass Stuttering. I gotta get some music to go with that. I know it has been a minute. Like, please don't. Don't be mad at me. Don't be angry at me. Don't come knocking on my door telling me how long I have been away. I am so aware of it and I apologize. I really do. Life is a little bit crazy, but I'm trying. I'm trying to make these as consistent as I was when I was doing Stutter Girl because those videos were weekly and they were on time and they were I don't know what was going on in my life but I was on it I was on it I'm trying to get back on it you got feel me I'm trying to get back to where I used to be gotta climb that mountain I really wanted to make this video particularly because I am on a TV show and I can't tell you what show it is and all of that when it comes out I promise you guys will be the first to know but this show is about conquering your fears and my goal was to do stand up now I couldn't have picked the hardest thing to do stand up is literally the most difficult skill for someone to stand on stage to just share their uh, opinions and try to get other people to think that what they're saying is right my glasses are so dirty it's like embarrassingly gross. Can you guys see that? <clears throat> All right, and I decided to do stand-up. Yes, I've done stand-up in the past and it was fairly successful, but I was also doing stand-up without stuttering. But now I'm kind of at a place with my stutter where I can't even step on stage and not stutter. So I was like, okay, my goal was to tackle my stutter. I couldn't have picked a more vague way of dressing how I wanted to approach working on my stutter throughout this entire year. It has been one year and I filmed my set and though my jokes were funny, I must say, I stuttered throughout my entire set and I felt horrible about it. If you guys watch this, you guys will see me like bawling tears, crying, it was absolutely horrible. But then I had to take a step back and I had to really think this whole thing over because a little over two years ago, I was asked to do a set on a public access station. And when I got up on that stage, I blocked so hard I couldn't get anything out. I was silent for the entire time. This time, I stood up there, I said my jokes, people laughed, if you guys can hear that. But... You're just into everything. You're into everything. Can I have this? No? Thank you. I said my jokes, my jokes hit, and I have to be proud of those small triumphs. Like the small triumphs, we look over all the time. I did not look at the fact that I got on stage. I wrote jokes that I loved. I said those jokes and got laughs. Not only that, there was a camera there and there was a light there and my mom was there and my friends were there. There was so much pressure on me and the only thing that I could think of was I didn't say my set the way I wanted to. If I look from where I started out, not being able to get any words out at all, where I am now, stepping on stage, getting my jokes out, getting laughs, my the timing of the jokes still hitting, like, I have to give myself more credit. Now I can't give myself too much credit because then I'm like, I don't even need to practice my techniques. I don't need to practice nothing. Ah, hey, hey, I'm good. But, you know, I think it's definitely important for us to take the time to look at where we started and where we are. Where my speech was even when I started these videos a few years ago and where my speech is now are not the same place. I'm much more confident in certain situations. I can control my impulses more. There, there are just a lot of changes that have happened. So I just wanted to make this real quick. It's not that quick, but I wanted to make this real quick to remind you guys to remember where you started. Remember where you started and how it relates to where you are now. All right, I'll be back with more videos. I promise. I love you guys. Stutter beautifully. Mwah.